Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so I am going to be doing a May favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in a little while now, but I do have some things that I want to share with you guys, stuff that has made it into my favorites, stuff that you might have seen in previous hauls and that sort of thing. So if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And okay, the first item in this video, let's not waste any time, you guys. This item, this was sent to me from an Amazon seller and I absolutely am in love with it. So it came packaged in this box right here. So it was very, very nicely packaged. It wasn't like overstuffed or anything. And it's pretty lightweight as well. So this is by Elegir and it is a cooling blanket. So I never thought that I needed this in my life, but honestly, I'm the type of person that in the summer months, I still like to sleep with a blanket. Even though it's plus 30 outside, I still feel the need to sleep with a blanket on top of me. Otherwise I can't sleep. And for the most part, it gets really hot, obviously, as you guys can imagine. So I normally just try to go with like a sheet or something over top of me, something like that. But honestly, now I really don't have to. And I've been getting such amazing sleeps with this product. So I had to share it with you guys today. So this is what it looks like. It is humongous, you guys. I got this in a queen size. They do come in a lot of different sizes, but I picked the same size as my bed but just because I wanted something just to be able to fit and something enormous. Also, I like that this is in gray because it goes with a lot of things in my house. My floors are actually gray and my walls, except for in this room, are all gray as well. So my whole house is pretty much this color. So it just, it goes well with everything. I'm wearing gray today. So obviously this is one of my favorite colors. I was skeptical when I first got this. I'm like, is it gonna be actually cooling? But when I pulled it out of the packaging, I was like, whoa. This is going to be really, really nice. So I have been using this for about a week now and I can definitely tell you that it works, <laughs> that it does stay cool to the touch even throughout my whole entire night's sleep. When I wake up, it's still cool to the touch. So this blanket stays between two and five degrees Celsius at all times. Like it doesn't get hot or anything like that even though it's on your body, it's so cool. This is the technology that it uses right here if you guys wanna pause that and read it. So this blanket is made from nylon and cotton. It's really, really almost like silky soft and it's also really heavy, which I like. And I think that's the reason why I'm able to sleep so well with this is because I like those weighted blankets. Like I like those weighted blankets a lot but they are not practical for when the weather gets to be too hot outside. So I like this as in like, it feels like it's weighted, but it also is really cooling, which I love. It came actually way nicer than this. Like I said, I've been using it for about a week now. It did come rolled up in this inside the box. So packaging and everything is good. And this is reversible. Both sides are equally as cold. So the side is almost like a brushed heather material. And then the back is a true like heather gray. So I love the fact that you get to choose either side and stuff like that because sometimes my blankets can kind of get rolled around a little bit and I love how both sides have that same cooling technology and I just I love this so much so definitely go and check this out if you guys are interested in a cooling summer blanket I will leave their info in the description box below and like I said you can get this on Amazon you guys so you know hello prime if you have prime this can come to you within a few days so next up is something that I have done a review on already so if you guys haven't seen it definitely go and check it out if you want a full like a full review on this product so this is the Kayali perfume and the yum pistachio gelato number 33 and I have been obsessed with this. I think I need to stop wearing it as much because I'm gonna go through it really fast and honestly 
it's not a great perfume for the hot weather and it is starting to get hot out so i think this is more of like a spring fall fragrance i think that this is too light to be a winter fragrance although i would love to see how it works in the winter months as well because i think this is more of like a cooler weather fragrance it is definitely very gourmand really really just a beautiful beautiful scent oh my gosh it's just it smells like ice cream and cotton candy and it has that nutty pistachio-ness to it like i am obsessed i'm obsessed i can tell you the notes right now because there is the notes on the back of the bottle but there is of course a lot more notes in the middle and then in the dry down as well but the main notes in here are pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy next up this is something that i featured in my sephora haul from the vib sale i also showed the kayali perfume as well so these things have been making it into my favorites, which is really good. So this is the Cora Organics Active Algae Moisturizer. So it looks like this. I am not even going to lie to you. I bought this solely based on how beautiful the packaging is. And then I read more about the product and I'm like, oh, okay, this could be really, really good. And it is. It's very, very hydrating. It's really, really good. And I started using it right away, even though I do have a Jeffree Star moisturizer that I have yet to use yet. But I have been using this right away because it is an organic product. So it looks like that. It is a gel consistency moisturizer. So it does kind of it's like gel right so if i was to turn this upside down it would all come out so i'm not going to do that but there's a couple things to note on this so i did look at reviews and a lot of people said it smelled old like it smells like old product i think it's just because this is an unscented moisturizer it smells organic like it literally smells like algae and other things like that it doesn't smell the greatest but it doesn't have any perfume in it fragrance or anything like that so it's just it is really good for my skin and i was really really skeptical about trying this because like i said i bought it based on the packaging and i was like oh is it even going to be good but then when i tried it for the first time and continued using it for the whole month of may i can definitely see a huge difference in my skin which is not like what i can say about a lot of moisturizers out there so this is doing its job it's doing a great job with my skin it's not breaking me out or anything it's keeping my acne at bay surprisingly for like the time of the year it is like i usually break out a lot in the months of april and may because that's that like in the middle of spring summer changing seasons type deal the fact that i went traveling and i went camping in may my skin likes to legit freak out during those times but i think this has honestly been the game changer for me and i'm sold and I highly recommend it. You might hate the smell, but honestly, it's worth it's worth every penny. So get you some Cora. Seriously, try it. The next thing, this is a weird thing to be in this favorites because when I first got this product, I definitely did not like it. And it's this right here. So this is by Jeffree Star and it is the setting powder. This is the luminous setting powder. I needed a new setting powder. I have tried his rose matte rose setting powder and that one was my absolute favorite but for some weird reason a lot of his concealers and his powders are sold out they're nowhere to be found on beautylish i don't know what's going on i honestly haven't even seen his new summer collection pop up on beautylish yet which is really frustrating but i do love his products and i really hope that he continues to produce more and be more on beautylish but yeah i did not like this product at first because it is in the color natural first first off it's the wrong color for me i normally go for rose which is a few shades lighter than this one but i thought you know what it's on sale let me try it this was on sale for like 12 dollars, i think and it looks like that i am wearing it today i have been wearing it for the past like couple months now i want to say and i really like the consistency i like the fact that this smells like cotton candy it smells amazing and the scent doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that it is the most finely milled powder that you guys have ever tried it's very similar to the matte ones this is just has a more luminous finish but it's so finely milled and amazing it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it does set my makeup really well 
The only reason why I didn't like this in the beginning, number one, is because my skin was not tanned at all whatsoever in the winter months. It's still not really super tan right now, but I can tell that this is a better match for me now that it's getting like into summer. And I do have like a tiny bit of a tan on my skin. It does match me quite well right now. But when I first got it, there was definitely a difference from my face to my neck and I didn't think that this was ever going to work out for me until recently so I absolutely love this highly recommend it and you know what next time I will get my correct shade hopefully hopefully it won't be sold out or anything but yeah this was 100% worth the $12 next thing I want to talk about my BB cream my favorite everyday BB cream has been this one by skin 79 I need to purchase another one I have a review on my channel about this BB cream from like probably 10 years ago not even joking or maybe more than 10 years ago maybe it was back in like 2012 when I first discovered this I used to use the hot pink one I still really like the hot pink one it's only SPF 30 though but it's good for like an everyday BB cream however this is SPF 50 PA++ it does have snail secretion filtrate in it and you know a lot of you might think that that's really weird but it doesn't smell weird it doesn't feel weird on the skin like it just it does an amazing job I use it hiking all the time this is my SPF and it does not break me out and that's really rare to say because I cannot wear sunscreen on my face at all ever under no circumstances but I can wear this and it does a really really great job and I haven't burned so let's like knock on wood and hope that doesn't happen after I said that I 100% recommend this I get it on eBay from Rose Rose shop we're getting there there's only a few more things in here I want to talk about my favorite blush highlighter combo of the month as you guys know I have been wearing a lot of blush and highlighter lately because I haven't needed to wear a mask at work but that's gonna change really soon I'm gonna have to go back to masking which is really really frustrating I am gonna do a life update soon which yeah it's, good. it's gonna happen but anyways this is the blush that I have been using a lot lately it's called Golu from NARS it looks like that I am wearing this on my cheeks today it is a beautiful berry tone color I think that this is more for medium skin tones however you know with a light light brush stroke or whatever on your skin it can look amazing for you light skin girls as well but this is a beautiful blush and I think I got this for free from Sephora at one point because it is in like the travel size packaging next up my highlighter pick of the month has been this one by Becca and it's called champagne dream flashes Bellini I know that Becca is no longer out there anymore Becca does not exist anymore and it's really sad because I did really like their highlighters so that's what this one looks like I am wearing it today it's a very subtle highlighter to be honest like it's very subtle you can see the little sheen on my skin but I feel like there was a phase where extreme highlighting was in you know like super super icy cheeks at all times that sort of thing that was a look that was really in for a while and now you don't see that as much you see more natural highlights or no highlight at all but i still absolutely love my highlighters next up is this huda beauty rose gold palette i don't think i ever talked about this this is what i'm wearing on my eyes today if you guys were wondering this a lot of the favorites i am actually wearing today but yeah this is the rose gold remastered palette by huda beauty and i i haven't been really super into buying the newest palette lately i haven't really been into eyeshadows as much i'm getting a little older okay like i'm in my 30s now and i feel like i'm just i got really lazy with my makeup in my 20s was an era of like eyeshadows and really just like carving out my face and just doing a lot but now I'm just I'm a little lazy when it comes to this but yeah I still absolutely love this palette and it's great so this is what this one looks like I got this back in 2019 and I have definitely traveled with this palette I use it in a lot of my videos but I don't think I've really talked about it my favorite colors in here are demure which is this blending color right here I really like pink diamond which is what I'm wearing today right here 
and I also really like rose gold of course which is this one right here but yeah this is a beautiful palette Huda makes some amazing palettes the mercury retrograde is a really nice one as well it's just I really haven't been the type of person to pull out a full palette in a really long time and do my makeup but I pulled this out today and I just remembered how much I absolutely love it so that is that last but not least i'm gonna get into the lip products of the month that have been my go-to so this one is by mac and it is a mini lipstick right here this is from one of their holiday collections back in the day probably back in like 2016 or something like that yeah i do keep my lip products for a really long time and i still use them i think that people thinking that lip products and stuff expire like after six months to a year i think you're a little crazy because I, I i don't do that but do you boo you can do that you can throw out your lip products after like six months but i think that's a waste of money and i do like to go through my makeup and actually use them up and finish them even if it takes me like five years i will do that and honestly it hasn't gone bad or anything so i mean that's good this is the kind of sexy lipstick from mac that is literally all i have left of this because i have been using this all of the month of may i have been using this since actually since february it is almost gone so yeah this is what it looks like it is a beautiful color i have worn this in a few of my videos i'm sure so that is kind of sexy and then my topper for this is candy k by kylie cosmetics i've had this equally as long and i honestly don't care it's lip gloss and it does its job it doesn't smell bad it hasn't done anything weird to my lips so I'm still using it until I finish it. And honestly, it is really close to being done as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, there's hope. There's hope. This is probably like nearing the time where it's finished. But this is a really beautiful lip combo. So that is a two swatch right there. It is really beautiful. Oh my gosh. You guys, this lip gloss right here, this plumps your lips like no other. Like the Riri one that I'm wearing today, it does the same thing. It plumps your lips and looks amazing. This is on the thicker side. It is thicker than the Fenty glosses, but honestly, like it does amazing things for your lips, okay? It makes your lips look full without actually being full. So I love that. And that is all for my May favorites. Oh, one random thing I'd like to mention is these two bracelets that I have been obsessed with wearing. I have been really into crystals. I have been really into crystals for like a while now, but I recently went back to the crystal shop and looked around and I picked up these two bracelets because they really just spoke to me and I have been wanting this purple jade one for a while. So this one is hematite. And then this one is purple jade. They all have meanings. I got these from Earth Gems in Calgary. Earth Gems is one of my favorite crystal shops. And they do come with these little cards here. So hematite is thought to be an anti-stress stone. It is powerful and very grounding. It repels and dissolves negativity. It's been used for a millennia as a healing stone by placing it on the body area that it needs to be energized it is the root and earth chakra. So as far as the purple jade, it says its frequency is connected to the earth star third eye and crown chakras it allows one to connect with higher beings to gain spiritual knowledge and then ground and link this energy to that of mother earth via the earth star and it is all of the chakras i do notice a difference when it comes to crystals and like wearing crystals i've always been really drawn to like things like citrine which is really weird because i don't like the color yellow but i have been drawn to that stone quite a bit i do have a citrine tree right here behind me me and i don't know it's just it's really helped calm me down i needed to take away some of the negative energy that my work was giving me and i feel like this really just it calms me down and whether you believe in crystals or not i do find that it works and i really like going to crystal shops it just it gives me like a really nice 
like hopeful feeling almost and I just really find them interesting so earth gems has been a favorite and I'm glad to be getting back into that aspect of my life because I haven't gone there since before the pandemic so I finally was able to just go in there a couple times this month and just kind of look around and um, yeah get these beautiful bracelets so that is all for my favorites for the month of may i do hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and if you guys are into the blanket definitely go and check them out on amazon i will leave their link in the description box as well and i'll see you guys soon bye